thrifty. The term used when a team with significantly worse guns steal a round win. This phenomenon is rare. Well, until this match happened. So they have to move in with the lower pistols and look at the offense being played by both players. Oh, oh, oh. This is Shopify Rebellion versus Team Liquid from the BCT Game Changers Champions. The map score is tied 2-2 two to two in a best of 5, so the winner of this final map on Ascent will be crowned World Champions. Today, we're going to break down the brilliant plays, the psychic reads, and the innovative strategies that only surface when both teams play with everything on the line. Let's dive right in. Pistol round's the most important round in the game. This is a round neither team can afford to lose. Shopify opened with 2B main, 2 tiles, and 1A main. They want to gather info first and then play off what they find out. Liquid opened with 2B, 1 mid, and 2A. All four site players are playing on the site, not the areas around it. So Liquid's game plan is to just bunker down like a turtle on site and stall for their teammates' rotates. But playing so passively means they're giving up a ton of map control, which will give Shopify complete control over the round. Liquid need a spear, and that spear is Bastarda on Jet. In this setup, Liquid allows Jet the freedom to move around and hunt as she likes. This round, Bastarda chooses to look for a duel mid with her Sheriff. How will Shopify respond to this setup? The barriers drop, Shopify Silver Recon mid, KO Knife B main, and Market. The KO Knife scans nothing, but Starto actually dodges the Silver Recon mid and stays posted up with her hand cannon armed. Is this going to be a problem? Since B main is cleared, Fluorescent and Mel walk up to take the space and farm the all orb. Towards A, Noya kills you towards A main. It detects nothing. So off the bat, Shopify know that B main, Market, Arches, and A main are cleared. Only cat isn't cleared, but if Liquid are doing a cat setup, then that means A site is going to be weak. So Shopify called to regroup A main for an A hit. But first, Fluorescent grabs the all or B main. Daiki responds with a shock dart. Fluorescent dodges it. Presence is made B main. Now Flora and Mel want to quietly leave and regroup A with the team. But because of the noise B main, Bastarda smells an opportunity to take space mid for a flank. Flora and Mel need to cross tiles, which exposes them to mid. Bastarda could go huge here. But Noya, whose top mid, is aware of this possibility. So she jump peeks Arches, sees nothing. Cool, Arches is cleared. Now now Noi wants to clear Cat, but Bastardo walks out mid at this exact time. Noticing the Silva playing close towards the ledge. Oh. Bastarda draws first blood. She backs up to play numbers. Liquid have a huge advantage now. Shopify still stick with their call to regroup for an A hit. But Bastarda is now leaning towards A. Shopify are about to execute onto Liquid's strong side. No drone in sight either. Shopify are playing off contact. This means Liquid won't know this A hit is coming until Shopify are right at their doorstep. Still strong side is towards A site. So Georgina spots them. She instantly smokes close to give her space. Shopify recon and knife sight. Fluorescent dashes on the site, but Georgina counters with her omen bind right before she gets suppressed. This slows down Shopify's A main follow up for a split second, but that second was all Liquid needed. The Jet and Kale are grouped heaven. Liquid's fast retake begins. Georgina suppressed towards the back of the site. Bizarre dropping down the double swing to move out towards the generator, but it's a one for one. Numbers are dwindling down on the defense. But Shopify shut down the fast retake. 2v3 now. Two kills of her own. We talked about her having a step up. She does so right now. Azoto oh, has shot. something else to say. Right into Domo Sarah. Two seconds. versus two. Breaking the window. Falling back towards the door. Breaking it together. They're not going to slow down. Okay. Breaking this door is a great call by Liquid because this threatens an extra angle for the retake and it makes Shopify feel claustrophobic playing on site. Because that door took too long to break, they do decide to collect their breath, but. But Mel one ways the door. Liquid can't go through tree anymore. They have to retake from heaven. Just hate that Mel was still alive on a 2v2. Throws the one way smoke towards the door, funneling Team Liquid back towards the heaven. The nice spots, both of them crouching into Mel Lexus, Oyer's pushing standing. forward. Mel with three within the round. Wow. Thank you. And Shopify take the pistol round. We have to Ooh. highlight how Alexis played that last fight, though. She knives heaven and scans both Liquid players. So Shopify now know that both of Liquid are retaking from heaven. Alexis takes first contact, then crouches to duck out of the line of sight. She bobbles around at a headshot angle, distracting Issa for Mel to get the first kill. It's a 2v1 now, so without skipping a beat, Alexis repositions so that she and Mel are double posted on the exact same angle. With Mel perfectly capitalizing on the support, Shopify Shopify win this crucial pistol round. The momentum is now on Shopify's side. Or 
is it? With Liquid on a save, they need some kind of cheesy strat to win this round, so they open with three market. It's a crossfire setup in market, with a third player peeking off contact from the market door angle. But that player is fully exposed to B main. To fix this, Issa places her Killjoy turret at the choke to hold the DP mainline. If the turret detects someone, it'll detect them early enough to give Issa time to reposition. This deadly market setup could easily make up for Liquid's weaker guns. But unfortunately for Liquid, their read was off. No one is mid, Shopify are all starting B lobby. They're calling to slam B through B main. The barrier drop, Alexis KO flashes B main. Feel good round to start this. Beaming control of Shopify's, they keep holding W. They omen blind, jet dash in. A kale knife lineup to clear back site. Silver recon to clear the site itself. B site is Shopify's. While the execute was happening, Liquid were swiftly regrouping mid. They're going to triple flank through B main. They run down mid, but get detected by Shopify's killjoy turret. Alexis sees this, so she creeps towards spawn and Noya comes back the main to help. The anti eco. They now notice the sights open. Alexis has watched that flank. Looks like Team Liquid are looking for a triple push. But as they go for that pressure out, Shopify tear apart Liquid's flank. Georgina, the only flanker remaining. Floor comes back the main to help. Shopify are looking to completely crush Georgina. For the bait and switch, perfect now to hold the second round. Utilizing each other to perfection. Oh my God! Georgina deletes Shopify's double peek, but that won't be enough. Georgina's low, Liquid are still down numbers, and it's two pistols versus three bulldogs. Georgina runs market to regroup with Issa. Shopify one-way smoke stairs. Liquid are forced to retake from lane now. Does not allow any of the players from Team Liquid to pick up those weapons left behind, so they have to move in with the lower pistols. And look at the off angle being played by both players. Oh, the shot at the fourth! No way does that happen! Alexis now alone! Stick it on the spike! Stick it on the spike! They get the defeals for the Massacre 30! Team Liquid, toy it up! This year, a goal of mine is to get you more content without accidentally burning out or going bankrupt. But with how much time, money, and brain cells that go into each video, I was starting to think that was impossible. But here at Sovereign Guy, <clears throat> I mean the Aaron channel, we're all about making the impossible possible. And so I'm doing something that I should have done a lot earlier. I opened the Patreon page. If you're enjoying the content and want to help financially support me and the channel, or if you just want juicy exclusive content like strapbooks from the matches I cover, behind the scenes videos, and much more, then consider becoming a supporter by clicking my Patreon link in the description below. But hey, don't give me your money if you can't afford it. Take care of yourself first. Liquid beat Shopify last round, despite being on a save. So Liquid have a massive weapons advantage this round. But remember how Alexa saved the Bulldog last round? She donates that Bulldog to Fluorescent, Shopify's star duelist. And because Noya only bought a Sheriff last round, she can afford to buy a rifle. But will a mere two guns be enough for Shopify to steal a round back from a fully armed Liquid? Luckily for Shopify, they have a plan. All five of them are grouped outside B main. They're going to rush B again, but this time, they're going to showcase a very specific execute, a sequence they drilled and honed to perfection. The barrier drop, Shopify KO knife close, omen smoke market, knife scans nothing, B main is cleared. Shopify peak, break the turret, shock dart, breaks liquid's killjoy molly, silver recon CT. Wait, CT? Mel omen notes, TP's into CT. Daiki hears a rush, she recons B main. At the same time, flares and smokes a choke. This lets her swing wide to throw a second smoke and dash out. This is a force buy. Daiki gets one, repositions onto site. But without missing a beat, Alexis, KO flashes site. Mel from CT open blinds a double stack. Fluorescent charges in. Wanna give that pace to control by TL. Moving it out, dashing. And Fluorescent tears apart Liquid's B players. A fantastic execute from Shopify. They pick up Liquid's guns. Now they're up numbers and the weapons have equalized. The spike gets planted, the ball's in Liquid's court now. They have three flashes, KO knife, and full jet util. That's more than enough tools to win this round. Especially since Shopify are depleted of utility, since they use it all on the execute. Liquid are ready, the retake begins. They KO knife close, clearing close plat and logs. They break down the market door and charge out. But Mel's omen smoke comes off cooldown. She immediately one way stares. Liquid have to retake from lane now. Bastarde activates her dash. Georgina omen blinds default. Bazera pop flashes lane. Well, 
Goblins are just whizzing past each other. Two flashes available. Paranoia being thrown. The dashboard. <gasps> the head to head. But started lands on a top us And all three players stuck within the backside for Shopify. And instantly. Georgina in a 1v3 decide to save. Don't forget this round because it'll be important later on. After back to back thrifties, there's no way it happens again, right? Shopify opened with an A main heavy default. They want to take A main control fast, but towards B, the story is a little different. Sova and Killjoy are passively doubling up, basically all the way in their spawn. Liquid are on a save, so they might do an aggressive eco push, Shopify are thinking. And since Liquid haven't been able to stop their B hit so far, Shopify think that Liquid will do an eco push B main, or perhaps a B lobby pinch from mid. So Shopify are posted up CT, ready to punish that play. But Liquid have other plans in mind. Instead of pushing B, they're pushing A main. And Bastarda decides to hero rifle this round. This 3v3 fight in A main may just decide the round. As well as Daiki, the TP across, running right into the trap. But sort of dashes away, and Bazaar's there for the support. And in an instant, Liquid are up 5v3. Shopify know that since Liquid are heavy A main, Cat is probably weak. So Sarah and Noya both cross mid, looking for an equalizing pick while working towards Cat. But Liquid have already reset onto site, and they know the possibility of a late Cat lurk. So Daiki sends out her Silver drone for info. For Shopify. Got the drone spots and tags Noya. She's forced to back off, but the drone didn't spot Sarah, so she takes his timing to walk up Cat. Certainly gonna slow things down even further for Noya. Sarah decides to try to take that timing and see what kind of hero she can be, but look at this. And Sarah takes down Bastarda. The only rifle on Liquid is down. Suddenly, this round is winnable for Shopify. They call to commit to an A split, but Liquid are also rotated A now. Realizing that nobody's playing close now towards the A main. Three players moving together. Two of them walking for the contact for Shopify Rebellion. The knife is gonna suppress some players, but no information on where they could be. But Zara once again with the Sheriff. But unfortunately not this time, cannot get more. Cannot do the Jujina cosplay. But Iza is there, almost hit that shot. Noya's low on oh HP and God. spans from under hell. Coming back. But the spike is out in the open. Iza's doing a great job to delay all of this so that this person right here could come in for the flank. Exactly. Georgina's there. Exactly. And that's such a good point, Isa. Making it seem like there's spike more planted. than just her. Georgina's able to collect the vandal as well. And this timing, Shopify are aware. And they decide to double up in hell. But the turret's not going to spot her. So Iza's the one that's playing the bait. Alarm bot's not gonna be sounded either. As Georgina's continue to walk forward. She can stick it. But she's too close she down. Can stick the alarm it. bot's there, sticking onto the spike. Iza's watching that cross. It's now at halfway. The jump up from Noya. The close in from Bullet. Ah! She runs into bullets! No! The Rebel clutch the fuse! How do you run the bullets on the Nolan? After thrifty, after thrifty, after thrifty, we're finally at the first gun round of the game. The team that loses this round will go broke. This is a crucial round for both teams. Now, since production spent too much time on the replay last round, we're diving into the round five seconds in. No worries, we can work with this. Shopify opened with a 1-3-1 mid-heavy default. They've started each round at an explosive pace so far. So this round, they're slowing it down. As for Liquid, they open with a standard 2-1-2 spread. Off the start, Liquid one way aiming for a main control. Shopify smoke off cat for mid control. Shopify also silver recon arches, which Bastarda instantly breaks and backs off. Shopify now know that someone is mid, so they call it a 3-2-1 triple swing. They see no one peeking. They KO knife market. The knife scans nothing. So Shopify now know that mid is cleared, but there could be a player close arches. So they begin cautiously walking up mid with that in mind. But while Shopify were systematically clearing mid, Liquid were also doing some info gathering of their own. Liquid Silver Drone B main and KO Knife A main at the exact same time. The KO Knife scans Mel. Maybe that means Shopify are leaning A. So Issa runs up to follow Daiki Silver Drone B main. She peeks and breaks Shopify's Killjoy turret before backing off. Remember this mid round push, it'll be important later on. So at this moment, both teams know that Liquid have control the mains and Shopify have control of mid. How will this round progress? Liquid have four players watching mid. Shopify called to quietly group up for an A split. Liquid's one way smoke fades. That's a cue. Mel, Omen blinds tree. The execute begins. It's coming right in the nick of time. Mel 
recognizing that these last few rounds have been a little bit too hectic, but as I say that, Floor is in there, she gets wiped out. The execute didn't work out, but Shopify gained A main and tree control from that. But Liquid have four players A now. If Shopify commits, they'll be hitting Liquid's stacked site. Alexis finds a gap in Garden though, so she walks up to take the space. Liquid know this is a possibility, so they KO knife Garden. It scans Alexis. This forces her to pause. But with all the space tree and Garden, Shopify make the final call to re-execute A. Mel smokes out in the open on site. Then she fake TPs in A main. This threatens a TP into the smoke, which means Shopify can swing from an extra angle. Liquid's sight and heaven players are going to be focused on that smoke. And at this exact moment, Alexis activates her lurk. She takes down Daiki. Georgina turns up to look at heaven. Shopify PK main at this exact time. Sarah takes down Georgina. Liquid double swing off that. But Starter takes down Mel. Sarah peeks and gets a trade. Bizera swings a trade but gets taken down by Sarah. Issa rotates to heaven from B and takes down Alexis. It's now just Issa in a 1v2. Stepping up this game. Left. He's at now left on a 2v1, instantly breaks the turret. Off the spike, the double swing! That was so well played by Shopify. They started planning. Issa knows it's a 1v1 for the next 4 seconds, so she tries to fish for a pick. But she gets detected by the turret, so Shopify knows that Issa's out heaven. So instead of sticking the plant and giving Issa the space to lurk out wide, they call to cancel the plant and double swing heaven. They cleanly get the trade kill and plant the spike right after. Shopify win the first gun run of the game, forcing Liquid back on a save. Liquid's on a save, but Bastarda has her jet knives. That could win Liquid this round, so they call to do a set play. An explosive B lobby pinch. Because they're aggressing towards B, Issa has her full killjoy set up for A main. But Shopify are one step ahead. They're expecting something like this, so just like last round, they open with a passive 131 default. They're positioned to safely slip away from any liquid aggression. Let's see how this plays out. The barriers drop, Liquid Omen Blind, Jet Dash Tiles. And Bastardi, she wants to get knives killed. The Silver Recon lands, clearing all of B lobby. Liquid now know that Shopify have to be towards A. Since Noya and her turret were holding B, she saw Liquid's entire play unfold. If Liquid are aggressing B, A must be weak. So Shopify immediately sprint towards A. But there's a whole Killjoy setup in their way. The choke gets smoked off, Issa pops her mollies. Shopify's push is stalled out. Meanwhile, the rest of Liquid are quickly converging, surrounding Shopify. Bastardo has a timing for the flank, but Alexis pops her kill for the execute. If Bastarda flanks too fast, her jet knives will be suppressed. Daiki, who's playing heaven, gets tagged by Shopify's drone. She backs off, but Fluorescent dashes after her. Command, allowing lessons to move forward. Floor draws first blood, the rest of Shopify flood on his sight. On the flank, Bastarda gets detected by Shopify's alarm bot. Shopify now know they're getting flanked. They also know Liquid have their kills all for retake. They can't afford to play passive here. So after playing the spike, they call to all push tree together. Command, we slow down the pace for a bit. That lockdown is still available. Wow. Noir has fallen, so that lockdown will not be used, especially when Shopify push through the, the tree off the standing. post plan. Georgina finds a quick one. Able to trade the star day, but- <laughs> And Shopify take round six. Whew, I was worried we'd be seeing our fourth thrifty this game. Liquid take a timeout. They want to go through their game plan to make sure they secure the next crucial gun round. This is a pivotal round because Liquid can now afford an op. And when an op is in play, the game becomes completely different. Liquid open with a 2-0-3 spread. This means Shopify will have to either run into Liquid's A stack or run into the op and Killjoy utility B. This is a very difficult setup to deal with. Now, Shopify also know that Liquid can afford an op. The question is, where will the op be posted? Well, Shopify know that Liquid like to one-way smoke a main off the start. That's enough for the A main fight to heavily favor the defenders, so it will be a waste for Liquid to put the op there. So Shopify deduce that the op will probably be posted either mid or B main, and they have a strat prepared just for this scenario. The barriers drop, Shopify recon archers, smoke gate. Alexis yeets a KO flash from top mid. The KO knife clears market and pizza, mid control is Shopify's. But Starter hears all this noise mid. She thinks it's a heavy fast mid hit meaning there's usually a lurker going late B main. So before she gets pinched, she decides to push forward to isolate a kill on the lurker. But little does she know, there's only a single player mid. The rest of Shopify are actually all B main. Now to clear out towards the market, Aljung close, Bastarda leaps and dashes away, the spike is down. 
one for one trade. At the same time, Liquid caught a double push out from Cat for a fast flank, but Alexis is lurking there. Alexis gets a kill, full flash, and ducks back before Georgina can trade. Shopify kills you all B main. This is going to flush Liquid off the site. Luckily for Issa, B main is smoked, so she has cover to safely escape to CT. She posts the banner off and goes to hold the run in. And delays that trade by placing down that Molly. Slows everything down for Liquid. <gasps> But she gets double swung and taken out. Daiki and Georgina are nowhere close. This is because Daiki had to hold mid in case floor flanks CT from market. And Georgina is still cat in case Alexis tries to lurk up again. Shopify are in complete control of this round. With no space, down 2v4, and with no savings in the bank, Liquid called a save. With a loss on their op round, Liquid are now forced to save. They only have the two rifles they saved from last round. Shopify have momentum now, and they know it. They call to open with a 1-3-1 spread. They know they have better weapons, so they call to walk out mid and contact up Cat. This is a complete pace change from last round, where they fast executed up from market. But this call might end in tragedy, because Liquid have the read. They correctly predict that Shopify are going to split A, and they have a counter strat prepared. Liquid open with a 1-3-1. 2 2 spread. They have killed your Molly set up A doors. The trap is almost ready. The barriers drop. Shopify smoke mid 2 and recon arches. The recon doesn't scan anything. Arches control is Shopify's. So they begin walking up cat. But Bastardo walks out of the mid smoke right as the recon fades. Shopify might not expect this timing. At the same time, Georgina one way smokes A main. She sees nothing. A main controls liquids. Towards B, Daiki aggressively silver recons out B main. The recon scans nothing. She swings out and breaks Shopify's killjoy turn. This proactive aggression is huge because it fakes B main aggression from Liquid, which will further encourage Shopify to push Cat exactly where Liquid want them. Shopify walk up Cat. They knife market to pressure mid, hoping to draw rotations away from A. But Liquid know that the knife is just a fake, since Bastarda is all the way up close arches. So Liquid setup doesn't change. Shopify continue to slowly creep up Cat. Noya alarm bots B main and tucks into fridge to hold for a late mid flank. Noya and Bastarda are so close to each other. The mid round will be completely decided by the winner of this 1v1 in mid. Shopify keep contacting up Cat, but little do they know, they're walking straight into Liquid's Trap. No, as Team Liquid is set up with the KG Tilly towards the A side, first contact towards the tree. Georgina falls back. Yeah, Bizarro was sticking around with that flash prime to try to tee up a starting for a quick kill, but she decides to come back to A fast to help out her KJ. The dash right at the limit. Noya with oh, the lurk, no. but then just got caught by my start. What a setup. Georgina took contact garden. Shopify began their execute, but they were immediately suppressed by Bazero's KO knife. Off that knife scan, Daiki from market rips her silver all across the map. Shopify tried to push forward, but were stopped by Liquid's Killjoy Util, keeping them locked in tree. This noise prompted Bastarda to activate on the mid flank, but she was caught off guard by Noya, and yet she still wins this crucial 1v1. Because of that, even though Shopify didn't die to the Silver Alt, they're now stuck in tree. But Liquid thought it was going to be an A split since Mel was also showing presence A main during the execute, so all of Liquid are heaven and hell, posted for the run out. But because of this, a gap was left open in Garden and Floor smells this. Meanwhile, Sarah runs back out mid to avenge Noya. And with the microwave setup, no pushes coming out from Shopify. It comes down to Fluorescent at 30 HP. Sarah wins the fight at least on the recross back. And here comes the rotate, the first headshot for Fluorescent. Again at 30 HP, up drafting away the safety. With Floor picking off an A player, Shopify called to re-hit A. But Daiki's already on the flank, and Georgina's trying to hunt down Fluorescent. But there's a push towards B main. Yeah, and that push for Daiki is everything. The fact that Georgina is controlling all of spawn, and Daiki is quick on the pinch, this allows the A players to know that this is where Shopify will end. And thankfully, the alarm button was still up. So this Shopify's knife scans two Liquid players, but there's no time to rotate. They have to commit A. It's a classic. This is a much more buy that we have for Team Liquid so far. Only a battle in hand, and it's good oh, enough for the Sheriff as well. That's a team flash! Alexis now left alone to her own devices. Ten seconds left on the clock as it ticks right here. And Georgina takes down Alexis to win Liquid, yet another thrifty.
Shopify opened with a 212 spread, but instead of a default, they have a different plan in mind. Liquid realized they can't keep letting Shopify take mid for free, so this round, they open with 3 mid. They have 2 players A and a Kildra turret solo holding B main. The round starts, but start a post up top mid with their op while Issa tucks in close arches. Towards B, Shopify KO nice B main, Omen smoke market. Then Alexis launches her entire KO kit B main in sight. Sarah Silver Recon CT, Mel Omen smokes deep CT. Omen ult CT. Sarah also rips her silver ult. This is a B fake made to look like the B exec from round 3. Liquid start rotating and Bastardo quickly runs out to take space mid. But then, Liquid realized that the turret that's been holding deep B main hasn't triggered even once, meaning no Shopify players are even up B main yet. They instantly realize it's just a fake, so Georgina goes back A main and tucks herself into wine while Bastarda in mid is posted up tiles. But because of this aggressive push, Bastarda, Bastarda misses her shot, dashes away. Shopify now know that Liquid are pushed out mid, so they respond by immediately taking space A main. But where will they expect Georgina and Wine? It's Alexis dashes away. Georgina's playing the off angle in Wine. Paranoia being thrown up in the air, dashes away. And Fluorescent shatters Georgina's ankles. Aiming control of Shopify's Liquid are quickly rotating A. While chaos was happening, Alexis quietly walks up mid. Issa just barely missed the timing. She has no idea Alexis is close. She begins running away. Alexis hears this and tells her team that Liquid have given up space mid. So Shopify called to slow down the round. They leave floor to hold him in control and begin regrouping mid. Since Shopify just cut all noise, Daiki starts making her way back towards B. Shopify are grouped up top mid, but they're aware of the possibility of an op still posted mid. So they carefully jump peek to clear the angle before smoking it off. Shopify are calling to end in an A split. But Issa hears the omen smoke arches. A smoke arches usually means a team is trying to work up cat. So Daiki immediately rotates off B. While Shopify are quietly walking up mid, in A main, Sarah throws a silver recon. And instantly, Bazero pops her KO ult. But Shopify's mid players aren't in position to capitalize on their own recon yet. That means it's a double execute. The first layer of util baits out defender utility. And when there's no noise after, the defenders will think that it's a fake and rotate off. And that's when the re-hit happens. And it works like a charm. Shopify bait out Liquid's KO ult. Alexis then KO knives Market, which actually catches Issa. This means her B main turret is down. Liquid realized that the recon was just a fake and quickly starts shifting back B. But then, Shopify begin their real A split. Whole time. And now Vizera has an opportunity to just run the null command and use the knife unless off this peak, what an ADS on to Mel. Pulls it in from behind. And a pinch coming in from A main. The off out lands right in the dome of fluorescent. Shopify begin planning the spike, but they notice that Liquid had their Kyojo all for retake. They can't let that happen. So they call to push Tree to contest that garden space. But Liquid know this. So Bastarda is holding heaven, and Issa is sprinting to regroup Garden with Daiki. Zero is still falling. They cannot save her right now for Team Liquid. Daiki trying to move forward with support now finally from Issa. Trying to control towards the tree. Two hits the kills. There's only no way left. Lockdown is not even needed for Team Liquid! Shopify called to execute a B main rush. They haven't done this since round 3. But Liquid are one step ahead. They read Shopify's B rush and open with 3 B. But Starter is even playing CT instead of B main, since she knows Shopify like to pop flash B main on their rushes. This is a perfect read from Liquid. Trying to push here with the flashes. Yeah, the B rush. Off this lore buy that you have from Shopify, the half buy to save your economy within the next. She's burning. Stays safe though, at least outside the radius, finally towards the wall. Fluorescent closing the gap once Such again. Such a huge pain. Flaming towards the right, the dink through the wall, the right click classic denied by Isa. And Isa goes huge with her spray transfer lane and wins a third fight before getting traded. It's now a 3v2, numbers in Liquid's favor. Noya fake taps to beta peak. She tags Bastara on her jump peak, dropping her to 7 HP. Noya fake taps again, making noise for Alexis to find a pick. More some players out, so don't... Alexis misses and is forced to back up, expecting to get pushed. But instead of pushing B main, Liquid have Bastarda posted on it with a ROP, while Georgina and Bezerra push Noya instead, who's alone on sight. B, the round back for Team Liquid, especially after that kill, the spike is down. And Team Liquid tie up the score 5-5. Five five. This is anyone's game. 
Liquid open with a 3-0-2 setup. Shopify just lost at B. So Liquid think that Shopify won't be going B main again. So they're tripling up B main, looking to take that free space. As for Shopify, they open with a 2-0-3 default. They want to take A main fast. But remember, they got obliterated when they tried this in round 4 so they can't let that setback get in their heads. But this won't be easy, because Liquid are also doubled up A main. The barriers drop, Alexis pop flashes A main. Floor takes that space. Alexis KO knives A main. But right before Georgina gets suppressed, she throws back a Nomen blind. Allowing Floresa to move forward. The re-swing out from Bezerra gets instantly punished. Not aware, not ready. A one for one trade. While that skirmish was happening, towards B, Liquid start taking B main control. They kill Jamali to stop a potential push. Then Daiki Silva drones out while Issa and Bastarda follow behind it. The drone clears the B lobby line. Issa breaks the trade with the rifle, which allows Bastarda to get on the angle with the ROP. Since the AWP is successfully posted deep B main, Noya is now stuck shed. Will Shopify be aware of this AWP? Georgina takes that window of opportunity to tie up the situation. Such a beast. Shopify were aware and baited out Bastarda's up shot. Mel smokes off B main for Noya to cross out. But Bastarda isn't even B main anymore. She's immediately rotating A. Bastarda knows that since she was just spotted B main, that Shopify is probably going to end A to avoid the up. So she's rotating A to stay one step ahead. And it looks like Bastarda's read is right. Shopify are all regrouping towards A. And Alexis has that no command up, so it looks like oh. They're gonna send Alexis out A main solo while the three creep up short. Stay quiet for now. With this timing, I mean, Georgina could always throw just a one way. There's that null command. So Georgina's just gonna hide in the smoke. Georgina's so aware. Walking for Shopify. Contact. There's the first. Oh the swing. One for one trade. Alexis jump picks A main. She spots the op posted heaven. Instantly trades it. Off towards the top. Paranoia misses Bastarda. Great util usage to push back the op. It's a 3v3, the site is Shopify's. But Liquid still have their Killjoy ult for retake. How will Shopify respond? For Shopify to move in for a plant. Good response. Nice calls coming out for Mel. She didn't have a smoke Spike yet planted. up, so that dark paranoia allows that spike to go down. No tag, though. And the walk through. Mel somehow <laughs> even gets her teammate from behind. And Alexis closes in. Shopify brought the fight to Liquid and shut down their retake before it even began. In round 9, Shopify got owned when they tried to push Garden through Tree. So this time, they called to push Garden from Heaven instead. The drone gets info that someone's in the smoke. At this exact time, Alexis starts breaking the tree door. And off that noise, Mel goes through the smoke and gets two kills. Unlucky for Daiki. Issa turns around to look heaven, and Alexis strikes at the precise moment, taking down Issa to pull Shopify ahead. Shopify open with 4 B main and 1 top mid. They want to end this half with a B main execute. As for Liquid, they open with a 2-1-2 spread. Right off the bat, Liquid Kale Knife and Silver Recon B main. The knife scans 4 Shopify players. This prompts Bastarda to start looking for a pick mid with the ROP. Issa from B throws a Killjoy Molly lineup that lands on Shed. This breaks Shopify's Killjoy turret, which will let Bastarda peek into tiles from mid if she wants to. Shopify cut noise B main while they wait for Mel to regroup. B. They're committing to their B execute call, but Liquid are still stacked B. This final round will be decided on the B site. But first, Shopify are aware that a Liquid player could be walked out mid, so Mel and Sarah both jump big tiles. They see nothing, so it's safe for Mel to cross. With Shopify all grouped up, it's time for the execute. Liquid's Omen Smoke fades, Shopify kills your Molly, Silver Drone, KO Flash, Fluorescent Jet Smokes, but no one goes out. Issa pops her kills your Molly, but Zero KO Molly's a choke. Shopify were just fake executing to bait out Liquid stall util. Now that Liquid used up all that crucial stall util, Noya farms the orb for her Killjoy ult. Liquid won't be able to stop Shopify from running out B now. Right away, safe where he cannot get sprayed by an Odin. And nobody wants to play the back site here. Liquid all get off site. Shopify smoke off CT, then flood out. Fall back. Counter smoke being thrown. Flash is coming out. A one for one trade through the smoke. Georgina, Omen TV's back B. This is a high risk, high reward play because Georgina is all alone back site. But if she can stay alive, then Shopify will be caught in a net, surrounded with no breathing space. But if Shopify isolate and run down Georgina first, 
then Liquid won't have smokes for the retake. Thada is still alive within the market and lands the daggers onto Alexis. Still Tujinas within the back of the site, rings around the rosy towards the back to get the pick on Mel. Paranoia to push forward, Florexen also falls, it's up to Noya, denied by Bastarda is off. In Liquid, tear apart Shopify's execute. The support that Liquid gave Jojina at the end was huge. Daiki droned out from CT and tags Mel, which gets Jojina her first kill. The drone also spots Fluorescent default, so Jojina knew exactly where to aim her paranoia and blinds Fluorescent. At this moment, Daiki is holding stairs from CT and Bastard is holding lane from market. This means Jojina is safe to capitalize off her own blind and run down Fluorescent. And with Noya left in the 1v3, the rest was history. Team Liquid strike back to tie up the score 6-6, six six. so the owner of this championship trophy will be decided in the next half.